In 2011, astronauts Brian Harper, Jocinda Fowler and newcomer Marcus are on a space shuttle venture to restore a satellite TV for PC whilst Harper witnesses a mysterious black swarm attack the orbiter, killing Marcus and incapacitating Fowler earlier than Harper can re-enter the shuttle and take manage. Despite the fact that he is to start with hailed as a hero for efficiently returning the shuttle to Earth, Harper tries to inform his tale, that's brushed off by NASA and, after an 18-month lengthy investigation, human error is blamed for the incident as Harper's account remains broadly disbelieved. When Fowler fails to defend him for the duration of the hearing, Harper is fired. Ten years later, conspiracy theorist Ock. C. Houseman, who believes the moon is an synthetic megastructure, steals time on a study's telescope and discovers that the moon's orbit is veering toward Earth. He tries to share his findings with Harper, who dismisses him, leading Houseman to move public on social media. NASA independently discovers the anomaly and mounts a mission on Ansel's block to to investigate the abnormality. The same swarm that had attacked Harper's assignment reappears, killing all three crew contributors when they drop a probe right into a kilometers deep artificial hollow in the moon. As the moon's orbit keeps to go to pot, it falls in the direction of Earth and causes cataclysmic failures along with tsunamis, gravitational abnormalities, and atmospheric dissipation. Fowler, now the deputy director of NASA, learns that Apollo 11 had discovered flow abnormalities at the moon at some stage in its landing, and that a two-minute radio blackout turned into supposed to conceal how the moon resonated strongly while the spacecraft's gas tanks had been jettisoned, suggesting a hollow interior. A army application code named Zex-7 had created an EMP in and tried to kill the swarm, however was abandoned for budget reasons. Fowler orders the EMP brought out of garage and brings the retired space go back and forth endeavor out of its museum to serve the challenge. Harper, Houseman, and Fowler launch with the EMP, narrowly escaping a tsunami that destroys Vandenberg Space Pressure Base. As the team enters the moon's indoors, they discover that the swarm is siphoning off strength generated by a white dwarf at the middle of the moon, inflicting the synthetic megastructure's orbit to destabilize as its energy source is depleted. Harper learns that the megastructure became constructed by way of the ancestors of humanity, who were greater technologically advanced than their gift day descendants. The moon turned into constructed billions of years inside the beyond as an arc to repopulate humanity, which become being hunted by a rogue synthetic intelligence that grew too strong. The swarm within the moon is one of these is, which responds to electronic activity in the presence of organic lifestyles. Because the moon maintains to approach the Earth, the President of America gives the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff fashionable Jenkins orders to release a nuclear strike closer to the moon. However, the Air Force Chief of Team of Workers Trendy Doug Davidson refuses to carry out the nuclear strike order so he can shop the lives of his ex-spouse, Fowler, in addition to each Harper and Houseman, sacrificing his personal lifestyles in the technique. In the meantime, Harper's son Sonny escorts Fowler's son Jimmy and their nanny Michelle in an attempt to attain Davidson's Navy bunker in Colorado. They attain Aspen and reunite with Harper's ex-spouse and Sonny's mother Brenda, in addition to his step circle of relatives, but are caught within the disasters caused by the moon's fast destruction. Because the institution makes their manner towards the bunker, they combat off different survivors and more and more lethal herbal failures before attaining a secure mountain tunnel. Brenda's husband Tom sacrifices himself to keep his youngest daughter, suffocating because the moon's gravitational pull strips the environment of oxygen at some point of its skip. Houseman uses the EMP and the team's lunar module to trap the swarm away from the spacecraft earlier than detonating the device, killing himself, destroying the eye, and allowing Fowler and Harper to break out. With strength restored, the moon starts off evolved to go back to its regular orbit, bringing an quit to the destruction in the world. The running system of the moon, itself a benign eye created by humanity's ancestors, reveals that it stored a duplicate of Houseman's cognizance, acting to him as his mother, the eye states that they want to get to work. Fowler and Harper go back to Earth and reunite with Sunny, Jimmy, Michelle, and Brenda. Thank you for listening the story. Please like and subscribe for more stories.